Hello, on the last video we saw how to uh, set up a project from zero in Unity using our gamepad. So now we are going to start creating our scenes. We are going to create a view scene and a pad scene. The view scene is going to be where the game runs and the pad scene is going to be our gamepad viewer. So let's start here on the... we are on the sample scene. We are going to rename this to view scene. I'm going to create an empty object that is going to be the scene manager and um, on on the arcane li on the arcane library we need to drag this prefab arcane library to our scene. So here in our uh, scene manager I'm going to attach a script create one script C sharp script view manager I'm going to uh, sorry this this name is view manager not scene manager I made I messed this up so it's the view manager okay and we drag the script view manager to our view manager object and um, for our pad scene we're Oh, before that, I'm going to create a UI element. Um, text, yes. And this is going to be, it's going to say view, view scene. And let's try to show it. So now we are going to save and we go to uh, scenes and we are going to duplicate this scene. Uh, this is going to be named pad scene. And we go to our pad scene and we are going to change a few thi things. So here it's going to be the pad manager. Uh, let's remove this script and create another script. Um, I'm going to create a folder for my scripts. scripts. And let's add uh, another C -sharp script. This is going to be the path manager. Perfect. So now we need to update the text. It's going to say path scene. And um, we, for our gamepad, we don't want to have a skybox, so let's put a solid color on the on the camera, and um, yeah, that's that's perfect. Great. So if we go now to our um, view scene and we press play. Uh, actually, it's not going to happen anything. We need to open the Arcane Pad app first because our Arcane Pad app is the server. So now, if, if we press play on our view scene, it's going to connect. Uh, or maybe not. Oh, it's not connecting because we haven't initialized the library. Sorry. So in our view manager, we are going to initialize our library. So put void awake arcane dot init on our pad manager we are going to do just the same so I'm going to copy this And now, if if we press play, it should, as you can see, <coughs> in, initializing cli uh, Unity client as external WebSocket connection open. Can you initialize type device type view. Perfect. And if we go to our 
<coughs> to our path scene and we press play it's going to initialize it as a oh as a view yeah we need to update the code here so here we need to initialize with params new arcane init params and we're going to say um, device type is a uh, uh, arcane device type dot path and now if we press play it is uh, initializing with device type path um, one last thing we are going to build to our phone to see the gamepad on our phone so for that we need to change to WebGL and we are going to use development build this is going to make it uh, go a lot faster so we switch platform now we build and we are going to create a folder uh, called exports and inside exports another folder this is going to be the path folder this is important because our export of the views are going to be on the exports folder but our exports of the path scene are going to be on the path this is important because that's how our game path works so inside our path folder let's select the folder and now this time is going to take the first time like one or two minutes to make the build uh, but the next time since we, we are using the development build it's going to be a lot faster it's going to be five or ten seconds maybe at least on my PC so it should be a lot faster great okay now that this is done we copy the path of the path folder you see here that it is the build with the index h.html so we copy this path and we paste it on okay we here we need to go to settings and developer menu and we have the game path this is if you want to run the game inside our game path but for uh, this case we are going to use the path path because the game is running on unity already so we don't need um, if we put the, the game here it will run here on a screen on an iframe but for this case we are going to paste here the path path and we press play and as you can see on my phone it is loading the unity scene and well we you can see that it loaded but it is landscape we can change that so I'm going to press pause and I'm going to unity sorry to visual studio code and we are going to do another arcane init param um, path orientation arcane uh, a orientation dot portrait in this case we are going to use portrait if you if you want to use landscape that's the default but for this case we are going to use portrait so now we build again Sorry, I forgot some something interesting. So, I did the build with with all the scenes. It seems by default because I didn't drag the scenes. So, uh, we are going to add the scenes to our build, and for the path we don't need this view scene, so we remove it. I guess um, when we build without anything, it, it it took all the scenes. So maybe that's why it took so long. So yeah, we we just uncheck the view scene. We don't want it for the path and we check the path scene and now we build yes in the path folder and this time as you will see it's going to be a lot faster Well, sometimes it's not that fast. Yeah, it took like 
20, 30 seconds, but sometimes it's like 5 or 10. It's very unpredictable, that's pretty curious. So yeah, let's close this folder and now we press play again. And it should rotate to be on portrait. As you can see, now we have our phone with the path scene on portrait. Great, so that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we are, we are going to see how to send messages from the path to the view and from the view to the path um, and, how to, and how to create a player and, and other stuff. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye!